Hello everybody, welcome back to 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be 5 minutes. Today in the news, have you seen these Elden Ring scores? Oh man, look, I know some of you are probably already burnt out on Elden Ring, and you're like, I'm tired of hearing about it. But these review scores, holy moly. As of right now, Elden Ring is one of the highest scoring, best reviewed games in recent memory. It doesn't matter what website you look at, doesn't matter if you're going over to like Metacritic or OpenCritic or whatever, it doesn't even matter. The reviews are coming in and they are fire. Sure, th the reviews are still coming in and I'm absolutely positive this next evolution in the Souls genre won't be liked by everyone, but what we have right now is pretty impressive. And if anything, I'm even more excited to jump in this weekend. Also today in the news, a story that came out of nowhere, but makes total sense. In a teaser trailer posted online, we got our announcement for the Nier Automata anime. And even though we actually saw very little, they even hid 2B's butt, you know, cause it's a teaser. They did make a follow-up blog post to give us some idea of what to expect. The plot of the show itself looks like it will follow the game. Humans leave Earth for the moon due to an invasion of the planet and automatons like 2B are sent to reclaim it. Now, if you played the game or you watched our lovely Gentleman's Gaming Club episode on it, you know what to expect. And you know that uh, if there ever was anything that could have been made into an anime, this, this is it. And so I'm very excited to see what they do. In other news, Bethesda is shutting down its game launcher and moving over to Steam. Now, I know what you're thinking. Bethesda has a game launcher? Since when? Well, I'm sure that is part of the reason they're shutting it down later this year. Starting in April, if you've been using the Bethesda launcher, your games and wallet will migrate over to your Steam account. The idea being that you shouldn't lose anything in the process. Now, this doesn't mean your Bethesda account is gone, however, just the launcher service. You can and still will be able to use your Bethesda account for past and future titles. If you'd like to know more, there's a post with an FAQ over on Bethesda.net, and you can go there and deep dive that. Next, in a very Jesse story, Dead by Daylight is getting a new game. The ever popular Dead by Daylight series has a new trademark application that's been revealed for something called Hooked on You, a Dead by Daylight dating simulator. So you see why I shouldn't have to explain why it's a Jesse game. In fact, I don't even need to explain what kind of game it is because it's right there in the title. Dead by Daylight itself is a 4v1 online horror game where one player's the killer and he hunts the other players, sometimes impelling them on a hook. So the title checks out, but a dating sim? Well, they did in the past ask fans what they wanted to see next. And as usual with the internet, many goofed and voted for a dating sim. Or maybe that's what they wanted. Either way, it looks like that's what they got. If I had to guess, I would say this is probably an April Fool's joke, something they're setting up. Maybe an actual game will release on April Fool's. It's kind of a goof. I don't know. It could be a complete real game, in which case I'm here for it, but it's probably most likely just for the goof. And um, I'm also here for that. And lastly, today, my favorite thing, although I don't know you call it news, but it is a good story. Halo Infinite, as part of a pretty cool samurai event, is selling weapon attachments, one of them shaped like a dragon. And it looks pretty dope. Your gun is basically a dragon spitting fire. Neat concept, except the game is in first person. So players who were expecting this awesome dragon gun instead got whatever this is. One player said his red version looked like a flaming hot Cheeto. Now, if you're wondering why anyone would spend the $6 it costs to get this, well, players actually had no clue it would look this way because they can't see what it looks like in first person when you buy it, which I think is super lame for a first person shooter. Like, why isn't that an option? I don't know. Have you ever experienced anything like this? In the comments below, when you buy anything in like a COD or a Battlefield or whatever, have you ever had something where you bought it because it looked cool in the image and then you played it in game and you were like, what? It reminds me of when you make a character, a character creation, then you get in the game and you're like, I look nothing like this person. It feels like the same vibe and I've always wondered why. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for doing all the things I bug you every episode to do, like comment and like the video and share it or subscribe and thumbs up and I don't know, tweet? I, look, whatever makes you happy. I'm just excited you're here watching and you've stuck around this long. And of course, a big thank you to everyone over on patreon.com slash jessicox.
especially Joe Faraci, Garth Frenzman, and Eric Scholes. Thank you so much. That's it for me. I'll see y'all tomorrow with another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.